Hello guys, so welcome back to my vlog. So in today's vlog, well right now, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I have achieved. I told you guys how I was just waiting for the baby shower to be over so I can go ahead and wash everything and fix everything up and I've officially entered the nesting stage of my pregnancy and I washed all of his clothes. I organized this, separated everything, but today I'm really going to take the time to um, put it the way I want it and show you guys basically the process of it, show you guys what I've done, what I've completed, and yeah. Alright, so you guys probably recall this drawer. So the very first drawer is organized. I'm not really going to touch this drawer anymore. We got these from Vibe and Below just for $5 each. And this one is filled with his, with his socks. As you can see, it's literally overloading with socks. I got so many socks. And this one, I have some washcloths. I have some burp cloths. I have um, little mittens. And yeah, that's basically it. I managed to fit all of that in one of them. But yeah, I have so many washcloths. Um, yeah, so that's in this drawer, in this little... Um, caddy and right here I have all of his little hats basically lined up to what's the, the smallest all the way to the biggest and then right here I just kind of have his plastic little bibs okay so that is the first drawer it's organized I'm gonna leave it like this hopefully it stays disorganized Okay, so now for this drawer, I know it looks crazy, but um, this is actually one of the drawers I'm going to organize all over again. I actually got some premature clothes that um, this girl um, gave to me, so I decided to keep it here just in case he comes out tiny. I have clothes for that. Um, it starts from preemie, and then it goes to newborn, and then it goes to zero to three. We went to Ikea today, and we bought these scub a scub um basically they're just little dividers i'll show you guys how they are in just a second whenever i actually start organizing the clothes in it but we bought two of those and they're super cheap they're like five dollars for six of them and i remember doing research on amazon and literally nothing nothing compared to these drawers so these little dividers so i definitely recommend these you guys will see what i'm talking about once i actually start the process of it that drawer hopefully will be more organized and more neat i mean it's pretty organized to me i don't know it looks really organized but it could be better in my opinion these are obviously bigger sizes they just go bigger and bigger and bigger um yeah right here i have um just some random things for the car i have a bag of socks that I lost like literally already lost its pairs so just keeping that in here if they end up coming if I end up finding them down here more clothes obviously these are already bigger sizes as you can see they look bigger these are towels I have swaddle blankets I have big blankets I have um some sleep sacks and um, yeah, basically just swaddle. So this is more like towel blanket drawer. That's where I have all of these. And yes, so that is that drawer. Um, I'm going to start organizing with the dividers. I'm going to figure out how to put them together and start separating everything. And I'll show you guys how I do that. I'll show you the process of it. Separated everything. 
So this is all of my newborn clothes. This is all of my newborn clothes and I have separated the onesies that um, are long sleeve and I also separated, I think th this, is, this is like a PJ material so I'm assuming these are PJs. I separated these two but they're right by each other and then over here I have basically onesies that are like this little basic white onesies these are I have his shirts his pants and his shorts so I'm gonna go ahead and try and um, fix all of these in these dividers so it comes with six dividers let me show you guys how they are so it comes with two little squares two long ring tangles and it comes with these two big squares this is the preemie clothes that i have i don't want to put them in those because um it's very little so i think they'd, they'll be fine right here in case he does come out really tiny then you know i just know they're right here but over here i have my zero to three um like i said separated the white little onesies um these are the long sleeve onesies the onesies that are in shorts these are the onesies these are just regular onesies that have um like designs on them same thing right here and then right here his pants and his shorts okay so hopefully once everything is in the drawers organized um it would make more sense i don't know if you guys get what i'm trying to tell you or my idea or my vision of this but I'll go ahead and show you once it's done and the process of me doing it. So I just finished organizing my newborn clothes. And, um, so yeah, I remember how this drawer was filled with newborn clothes and it was filled with zero to three. Um, now that everything's organized, not everything fits. So, all my newborn clothes fit in here. Let me show you how it looks. So everything fit. Um, right here I actually did decide to put the preemie clothes in one of the long ring tangle ones. Just, it's literally all of the preemie clothes. I don't have anything separated. So that's the preemie clothes and then over here I have all of my little onesies and then I have all the pant the shorts and the pants to put on with the onesies and then on this side I have all of my long sleeve onesies um, that have pants and I have some PJs and then right here I have some shirts so um, right here it's all of my zero to three clothes so I'm gonna go ahead and try to make space in this one, I do not know how. I'm gonna try and figure something out so I can put all of this clothes and the rest of the dividers that I have. Um, wish me luck. <laughs> I really did think I was gonna be saving a lot of space, but I, I'm actually wasting space. So I'm gonna try and figure something out and then I'll show you what I do. It actually worked out because I noticed I did not have a lot of zero to three clothes so I was able to use a long rectangle from my first packet the first one and then I went ahead and opened up another one from my other packet so I only used two long rectangles and it fit perfectly right here these are basically all onesies and right here this is a long sleeve onesie and then it's shirts pants and some shorts and that's it this is literally all the zero to three clothes that I have and I went ahead and put a little sign. And yeah, so these over here start with um, 3 to 6. So to go to 3 to 6 all the way to like a year, I think. So yeah, so that worked out perfectly. I just had to take that out to fit that in there. I feel okay. I feel better about it because everything is separated and I know what's where. So that's the good part. Um, I'm cramping so much right now. I'm trying to breathe it's, it hurts like I feel pressure um yeah so that is that so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox a packet that I got today lately what's been happening is um 
I've been so scared, like so nervous, because I've been seeing so many people, so many labor and delivery vlogs where they give birth at 37 weeks. 37 weeks and something days. And um, I'm 37 weeks today. Today is um, August 3rd, so today I officially am 37 weeks. So, um, yeah, that's why I've been telling Martin, oh my god, I literally have nothing done. I will have some things done, but I don't have my hospital bag done. Um, I haven't really organized the clothes until right now that I just did. I need a lot of postpartum things. Um, we're still missing a couple of baby things. And we need to, we need to get it done. We need to buy everything. We need to have everything ready right now because honestly we should have had everything ready by like 36 weeks and right now we're still missing things so he told me calm down he started ordering some stuff why I was telling him that I needed these things and he ordered them for me and yeah so one of the packets already arrived um, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you what they are so in the pack I actually um, received the set of eight little dividers because I thought I was going to use them but I didn't really get a lot of use out of them as you guys just saw <laughs> but ordered that okay so I also ordered this let's fit sound machine it looks like this it's like a night light and a sound machine at once so I'm assuming this is the night light right here I think this one is so cute <laughs> little crickets Oh, it has a little lullaby. Oh, I love it. The main reason why I got it is because I've been told by a lot of people to get the baby used to noise whenever he's sleeping. So that way he doesn't expect it to be very quiet for him to be able to sleep. Which is a very good idea. So I love this purchase. I actually really like it. I like the sounds it makes. I feel like he's not only going to um relax with them but so is martin and i next thing we got is a wipey warmer this is actually the last thing i could have sworn i could have sworn we ordered my breastfeeding pillow maybe it's coming in separately i don't know but this is the wipey warmer um i'm gonna open it up but i'm not gonna warm any wipes up just yet <laughs> so I'm just gonna have it open so I can set it up and have it ready for when it's time. Oh, it's pretty big. I thought it was way smaller. Oh my god, okay, so it's like this. And yeah, I mean, pretty self explanatory. You put the wipes in here and heat them up and you just take them out. Okay, so I'm gonna take advantage that of this little camera setup and I'm gonna open some presents that we received a couple of days ago. We have this little PJ set. Yeah, we have this little Carter's PJ set and it's from six, it's for six months. It looks like this, it comes with the little pants, the onesie, and a little, a little sweater. We also received a cute little blue blanket. Yeah, it's just the baby blanket. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, this is so cute. We also received this little pack of onesies. So it's a pack of four onesies, and they are for six to nine months. Got some huggies, um, wipies, which you're never gonna have enough wipies nor diapers, and some diapers size two. Here, the size two. Yeah. So um, another thing I wanted to tell you guys um, that I got yesterday from Target. I got this Freedom Mom upside down period bottle. It's just some postpartum care that I'm that I've been buying, and I also bought the Freedom Mom instant ice maxi pads, and they're literally holding the camera up, so I can't can't really show you guys, but they're basically some ice packs in a pad that I'm gonna be using after labor. So yeah. Okay, so I got Martin to hang up this thingy. I I, I don't know if you guys remember that I had it like down low right here and I got him to hang it up higher so I can put this this right here it's just a little organizer and yes yeah, so I'm gonna start filling stuff up with it and hopefully it's good I prefer it to be there so it could be an easier reach for me 
rather than it being right here and then having the dirty clothes right there. So that's why I decided to do it right there. Yeah, I'm just kind of in the process of organizing everything because as you can see, everything's messy and out of place. So let's go ahead and start. I just kind of finished picking up the room and putting stuff together and I want to kind of show you the situation I have going on with the crib and everything I think I'm done and I'm kind of like oh that's it like I thought it was gonna look so cute so I mean everything's put away and everything's where it's supposed to be so I guess it's okay it's fine um but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and show you what this area is kind of looking like this is the crib and basically you know it's just a crib right there we just have some trash just ignore that but the crib um it's a little changing station but we still need to put adrian's sign in the middle martin needs to do that um we just have a little elephant right here obviously it's not going to be there when the baby's here but just for now and in here we have some diapers it's just filled with diapers and it has newborn diapers and an extra cover for the mattress this used to be packed with diapers until i moved a lot of them and then the bottom one is filled with wipes just a lot of packs of wipes then we come up here it's filled up with some diapers some newborn diapers it's um i put the wipey warmer right here just easy access um this is kind of like a toiletry little baggie as you can see just has a thermometer a brush just random things keep it right here we have some um dusting we have some butt paste right here i just keeping a duck some little toys if you get fuzzy in here i have about some pacifiers a little maraca and I have some lotion so up here this is kind of just where I'm keeping some shoes my little sonogram some toys and some books just to kind of have something up there and yeah so that is how that is looking I don't know if I should start packing my hospital bag or if I should save that for tomorrow the, one of the reasons why I've been stressed like I told you earlier in the vlog how I'm scared that I'm gonna give birth early because I've seen a lot of people give birth around this time another reason why is because I've been feeling a lot of pressure down there a lot of cramping a lot of just been super uncomfortable and so that's why I'm kind of like should I pack it what if I go into labor tonight what if I go into labor tomorrow <laughs> literally I'm dumb but um that's literally what's going through my mind and I'm like should I pack it should I not should I wait till tomorrow and I do not have everything I'm still missing so many things. I'm missing so many postpartum things that I'm planning to take with me. So I don't know if I should wait until I have everything to start packing it. Or if I should pack what I have just in case of an emergency. Okay, you guys. So it is the very next day. Um, I basically got up, had breakfast, got ready, and now I'm here. 
Um, we're gonna go ahead and start building the stroller, the car seat, the swing, everything we have just to get them ready for when baby comes. And yeah, so I'm gonna try. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I start doing my hospital bag today. And if I do, then I would be showing you the process of that. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So this is for whenever I heat up your breast milk, right? Mm -hmm. Does it taste like cereal? You're gonna try it? I'm gonna try it. And right here we have our baby sterilizer bottle where it sterilizes and dries the bottles. And then right here we have our bottle warmer and then the machine that makes the bottles with the formula. Put the formula in here. And then right here we have all of the bottles, some extra nipples and some formula and yeah this is our little baby station okay so it looks like the car seat's already done you just need to build the actual stroller so if you're wondering which one we have it's this one we ran into a problem can i take this off so i can click in here so whenever we want to take them on a picnic or something it clicks but this does not come off so, either we're missing a piece or we just can't take it off. But it's so cute. I love the look of this one. So it's two pieces. This is one piece and then we can take it off. There's another piece. It can go either one way or another. Um, let's see. But most likely since it's an infant, we're going to be having him facing it. So it's like that. Are we turn it around? Which is most likely gonna be like that. Yeah. Gotta keep an eye on Bevis. And then obviously it's a stroller. I mean it's a car seat, so yeah. we're gonna have to detach it and put it back. Yeah, but I'm just gonna get used to having this back there, this like that. And then whenever mama's or daddy is taking care of the baby, put a little drink right here. It's but it's cute, I love it. I like the color. I'm glad it's just not black. And it has like a compartment at the very bottom. Does the diaper bag fit down there? Most likely, I'm not sure. So, oh yeah, that's our diaper bag. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, the diaper bag fits down there. So this is our little, little Adrian mobile. Yeah. Yeah, if you, if you guys see that my knees are dark as hell. It's because he doesn't put lotion on, and I tell him every day. Yeah, she, she wishes. Um, no, it's because of work. I just got out of work, and it sucks. Yeah, so I've been, I've been hearing a lot of people say you should practice, like, installing for when the time comes, and we're in a hurry, and I'm freaking contracting or something. You know how to just put it in there. And we're not sitting there outside struggling. And I was like, that's such a smart idea, because... I'm probably gonna be going crazy and I'm gonna be frustrated because he doesn't he doesn't know how to put it in. But um do you wanna practice or Yeah, that's alright. I mean I can put it in there right now. So when the time comes, you're not gonna be struggling to put the car seat in, right? This nope. is on video. Okay, he said nope. no. Nope. Okay. So the recline indicator means that baby does not uh he doesn't lay flat on his on his back and he's lying like this. So, yeah, How do you know all this? Let me find out you got another baby somewhere. Nah, I wish. I'm kidding. You wish? I'm kidding. Aww. We're gonna, we're gonna put a picture beside this with the little baby. In there. Okay. Ready? What? Everything's gonna be here? Yeah. This is the vehicle we're taking. Okay. So, picture before the actual thing. Uh -huh. One, two, three. Did we order? Did I swear we did order the pillow, babe? What if that's the pillow? That is the best pillow. It is. Yep. I knew it. 
Because I remember looking, remember I was talking to you about the color? Yeah. Yay, my pillow. I knew it. I knew I wasn't crazy. Okay, that's done. So, so we need to fold this. This is the pivot. Carriola. Okay. How do you say carriola in English? In English? Uh, the stroller. Good boy. What do you mean? It's, so it's the pivot stroller. Hmm? Future parents. Yeah, future parents to the little one right here. It's so normal for us to talk like that to each other, but in camera, I bet it sounds so stupid. Right? Yep. Sometimes. So if you guys haven't met Mama Enriquez, this is Mama Enriquez. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. That's it. Now you do this. Just so touch it on me. Está bonita. Sí. Y tiene, tiene otra también para acostarse bien. This is where you tie down, baby. Right here. You pull it and it ties them down. Now this one. You're not going to be the only boy anymore. This one, we have to get used to not barking all the damn time because then he's going to wake up the baby. Right? Hey, no, no, no. You know what I mean. You can't, you can't be barking whenever a baby's here, okay? You heard me? You need to be quiet. I wish I had a rocking chair, but I don't. Put it right here. Obviously, I'm not going to have my belly, so it's not going to be in the way. And then I'm going to tie it up right underneath my boob. And I'm going to be laying right here. And that way, he's right underneath. And right here, I could put like snacks or like a little drink. Okay, so now we're going to do... What's that? Sir? This is basically... Uh... An automatic bouncer, ingenuity, ingenuity, ingenuity. What's this one? Ingenuity. Oh. Ingenuity. Ingenuity. There you go. It's that one right there. If Berto watches this or David watches this, I appreciate the gift, David and Berto. Appreciate it for the the baby be the um the, the sterilizer, bro. Thank you. As y'all saw earlier, the sterilizer that we have. So hopefully, baby's not um, allergic to dogs. Yeah, because there's me. Oh, I'm sorry. Me, I have this thing where whenever I'm all over Dominic, like when I'm cuddling him, when I'm kissing all over him, I start itching. And um, so I'm kind of allergic to him, but I'm not allergic to my dog back at home. So I don't know, it's weird. So I tell Martin, um, what if baby comes out allergic to Dominic too? He's not. And he starts getting little rashes because babies are so sensitive. Like they're skin is so sensitive. He's not. He's not gonna be. He's okay. He'll be alright. So that's why I'm like Dominic better not be freaking licking all over him because you're not gonna want to deal with all that. And we're gonna have a problem. Mom's gonna have a problem with Dominic. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a big problem with Dominic. Hey, Dominic. Hey, baby. Oh my goodness. It's the Fisher Prize on the go baby dome. There you go. This, I already thank you guys. Thank you, Jesus and Denise. They said this would come in handy, and I see how it would. But I don't see it's basically. <laughs> interrupted the hottie. It's basically where you put the baby, and you could take him anywhere. You could take him outside, to the front, anywhere. It's like a portable. <laughs> it's like a portable. Uh, um, little crib in so a way. Show picture. Look. The portable crib right here. It's not a crib, but it's like... Yeah, yeah it is a it. crib, honestly. So a portable crib. It has a dome to shut out all the light. And you can fold it. Just like a... A Carriola. 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 So when he's playing his game... Wait, no, 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 no. I'll show him. Move your, move your stuff. Alright. My work stuff's right there. I get home from work or from school. Chilling, doing homework or something, and I'll be like this. Yeah, so you could be away from the dog. I'll be like, what's up? Yo, okay? And then I actually built him a little diaper caddy. <laughs> yeah. 
basically everything he needs when he, if he needs to change a diaper. Diapers, wipes, book paste, um, what's this called? Destin, a pacifier if he's crying, a teether, a changing We're pad. A yes, we are. Shut no, up. No, because then his teether going to come like. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, and some lotion, um, some little toys, distract himself, and yeah, so. This is for him in here, if he ever needs it. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you my diaper bag, um, me actually packing it, and um, this is it right here. Um, it's actually from Target, it was a gift in my baby shower, but I saw it at Target like a couple of days ago. So I do not know the exact name of it because I already took the paper off and everything. But I, all I know is you can buy it from Target and it's specifically for a baby because it has all of these um, all of these signs on there. So yeah, I actually do not have everything that I'm going to end up putting in here. Um, I have a good amount, but a lot of the toiletry stuff I obviously use on a daily basis and I don't want to pack it right now. So that I'm just going to be saying like what it is. Another thing, I am missing some couple of postpartum things and that I'm going to be ordering tomorrow from Amazon but like I said I'm going to be telling you exactly what I'm going to be ordering so you know exactly what will be inside my diaper bag. I ended up taking my shirt off because it's hot in here and I don't want to turn the fan on because then you guys are going to hear it. So first things first is my leaving outfit. So I have these leggings these leggings are so tight even before i was pregnant these leggings were always so tight that's exactly why i'm taking it i am not gonna put on my faja right after or right whenever i leave the hospital i'm actually gonna put it on when i get home um but i want i want to wear these um just so i can have some type of support and i can feel some type of tightness so yeah there's just these pink gym, gym shark leggings just in case, depending on how I'm feeling, I'm taking these and I'm taking some sweats. So these are just some big old sweats. <laughs> They're actually Martin sweats. So I'm going to have two options on two. What I want to wear, if I want to have something more loose, I'll wear the um, sweats. If I want to feel tight and like put together, I'll wear the leggings. And I just have this gray tank that I'm going to be putting on nothing special at all and I have this breastfeeding um, bra so these breastfeeding bras you literally just snap the side you literally snap the side and it opens up for you to breastfeed so I'm gonna be putting this on if you're wondering I got these bras um, off of Amazon so I'm actually going to be taking two, um, one for when I'm leaving and one for the time that I'm there, that I'm actually there. But I'm also taking a towel, just so I can have my own towel whenever I shower, if I shower while I'm there, which most likely I'm going to want to shower, so taking a towel. Okay, so next thing on my list will be my robe. So I have this robe right here that is super duper comfortable and it's long and I do not know where it's from because it was actually gifted to me but any type of robe that you feel comfortable in should do um, and I'm planning to just put this over my actual PJs um, and my actual PJs which is another thing my PJs um, I'm just going to be taking these shorts these shorts to put on and I'm just going to have my um, breastfeeding bra on and since it's going to be just shorts and my breastfeeding bra, that's why I'm bringing a robe to just put over and to feel a little more, a little more conservative in front of the nurses even though they're going to see everything either way but just so I can feel comfortable myself. So yeah, I'm not going to, or maybe I'll end up taking like a t-shirt or something to put over. I don't know, we'll see. Another thing that I'm taking is my Freedom Mom. Um, spray bottle. I'm sure you guys have heard about this, but it just looks like this. You fill it up with water and you just squeeze and water should like spray up. Um, 
in case you didn't know, whenever you give birth, vaginal birth at least, um, you're not allowed to wipe after, especially if you t if you tore. So instead of wiping, all you have to do is spray some water up there, and that should do the job. Um, so we went ahead, we went ahead and bought a Freedom Mom because. I don't know what type of spray they're gonna give me over there. Next thing, next thing will be my breastfeeding pillow. Like I mentioned earlier, I am planning to breastfeed. And this is the Breast Friend from Amazon. Um, and it's actually really comfortable to wear, to put on. So this will not be going inside my bag because it obviously doesn't fit, but um, we will end up taking it just by hand. So now for toiletries, I have, I only have three things with me. But the rest of the things I obviously use every day, so I don't want to pack up until the day of. Makeup wipes, I ended up having an extra pack, so I'm just going to throw it in there right now. Um, deodorant, I have like four deodorants, so I'm going to use this deodorant for the hospital. Um, body wash, I know you're not supposed to wear scented body wash because of... Um, because your baby's skin is sensitive so you need to be careful but i'm taking it just in case um this is actually the only extra body wash that i have so i'm gonna be taking it i'll probably end up using one that they have over there that's unscented so obviously some extra things that i don't have with me right now but they're just where they belong at the house is a hairbrush toothpaste toothbrush face wash and chapstick that's pretty much it Okay, so now for my baby's leaving outfit. I'm not sure if we're actually going to leave the hospital with this on or because my mom is actually making me a little outfit for him. So I don't know if we're just going to use this for pictures or if we're going to take him out in it or vice versa with the other outfit. But I have this outfit with me, so I'm going to go ahead and show you. It's just this little Nike beanie with a white little... Um, onesie and these sizes are newborn and i have these little gray sweatpants so cute just some socks and some mittens and i'm also going to be taking a little um swaddle blanket just to swaddle him up another thing will be a little pacifier and these are actually the car seat um straps that you put right here for the baby or right here i don't know somewhere there um they look like this and it comes with a neck pillow as well and it comes with a very thick blanket i'm going to be using this to like cover the actual car seat once we're leaving okay so now for a couple of things that i do not have with me but i am going to be taking that i'm going to be ordering tomorrow off of amazon is padded underwear and i'm going to be using the always discreet underwear they're like they're like grown diapers, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Just search them up and you'll see. Um, I'm going to be taking breast milk pads, little pads for when you start leaking that you could put in your bra so we could catch the milk. Um, nipple cream for when my nipples get sore. I do not know if I'm going to start producing milk at the hospital or when I get home, but just in case I do start producing milk right away, I need these things. So that's why I'm going to throw them in here. Um, pantuflas, I'm actually wearing them right now, so <laughs> literally just some good old pantuflas, some slippers. And that is basically it. Um, I don't know if it's a lot, I don't know if it's a little bit. Um, I'm pretty sure I will be provided a lot of things once I actually get there. So I'm not really stressing over what I take and what I don't. A lot of people say, I watched a lot of videos saying what I actually used in my hospital bag so i kind of went off of those videos instead of what's in my hospital bag all right you guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys enjoyed my nesting and everything but basically everything is done already i'm just gonna fully pack everything inside the backpack right now i'm just gonna need the things i'm gonna order tomorrow and i'm just gonna pop those in there they're nothing big so I'm not really worrying about it right now. Um, and yeah, once that's in there, then I am done. I am baby ready, physically. <laughs> physically baby ready. And yeah, I'm just so excited for him to come. Hopefully it's soon, but not too soon. Hopefully everything goes well. Please wish me luck. I'm very scared, but very excited at the same time. And if you guys like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.